Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to our channel. I'm Minhazur Rahman. Today we're going to learn about principles of chemistry, states of matter. Our today's learning outcome is going to be understanding how the results of experiments involving the dilution of colored solutions and diffusion of gases can be explained. What is diffusion? Diffusion is the movement of a substance from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. As you can see in the diagram on our right, diffusion happens in liquids and gases because their particles move randomly from place to place. Now, all of us experience diffusion. Right? You walk into a coffee shop and you immediately smell coffee. Why do you smell coffee? Right? One reason is convection, which is moving currents of air carrying coffee smell particles all around the coffee shop. But even without convection, the smell would still reach you eventually, not by convection, but by diffusion. In diffusion, coffee particles move from the coffee machine to the rest of the coffee shop. Making a cup of coffee also involves the diffusion of coffee particles through hot water. You see, once the, coffee, once the particles are introduced into a medium, they slowly spread to the regions where the concentration is low. This is how many processes in our body works. It is how substances move in and out of human cells or uh, animal cells, yes. So there is evidence for diffusion, like evidence for particles, diffusion, that particles exist. And it is the small particles that move from one area where the concentration is high to an area where the concentration is low. So let's take gases. Diffusion in gases. When chemicals like the smell of perfume or burning toast are let loose in a room, the particles mix with the air particles. The particles of smelly gas are free to move quickly in all directions. They eventually spread throughout the whole room. This is called diffusion. Now, diffusion in gases is quick, unlike in liquids, because the particles in a gas move quickly because we know that gas particles have the highest energy among the three states of matter. It happens even faster in hot gases, so which means the more temperature you provide, the more energy you provide, the more kinetic energy the gas particles gain, the faster they move, the faster they spread, the faster the rate of diffusion. Now in gases, particles move randomly from place to place. So these particles, they collide with each other or with their container. This makes them change direction. Eventually the particles spread through the whole container. Diffusion happens on its own. You don't have to stir it. So it happens without stirring, shaking or wafting. As you can see in this demonstration, bromine is taken in one round bottom flask and it's attached to another round bottom flask that is empty. As you can see the color of bromine gas is much darker in the top round bottom flask. But once we open the valve of the flask, the gas diffuses to the lower portion and hence it becomes paler. It doesn't mean that all the gas particles have gone downwards. It could, like, some of the gas particles remained in the top portion as well. It will even happen from bottom to top. Evidence for particles. 
diffusion, diffusion in liquids. Diffusion can also happen in liquids. This is because the particles in liquids can move around each other, which means that eventually they are evenly mixed. As you can see in this diagram, once you pour some ink on, in, into water, the ink doesn't dive straight to the bottom. It spreads. The darker ink becomes paler as it spreads throughout the liquid. For example, if you drop a little bit of paint into a jar of water, the color will spread slowly through the water by diffusion. Diffusion in liquids is slower than in gases because the particles in a liquid move more slowly. This is a FET simulation. Let us first increase the number of particles on the left side to 30. The mass is 28. The radius of the particles, you can increase or decrease it. And the temperature is there. The, when you see that these are gas particles, they are moving in random motion. But once we increase the temperature, they are going to move much faster. If, I, if we decrease their mass, they are going to move even faster. Because lighter particles travel faster than heavier particles. Now this is at very high temperature. Once we remove the divider, we are going to observe that they are going to spread evenly in both the portions of the container. So this is diffusion in action. That will be all for today. See you in the next episode where we are going to discuss about section 1.4. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.